Hi everyone, my name is Michael Tobin. Welcome to our Tobin Talks YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about using a power of attorney in a real estate transaction. Sometimes because of traveling or sickness or just convenience, it's necessary to have someone else sign for you the documents of closing. These documents are a deed, a mortgage, other loan docs. These documents will need to be notarized, they'll need to be signed, witnessed, properly executed in order for the transaction to work. So, if you need to use a power of attorney, it's important, first of all, that you communicate this to your attorney who can make sure that it will be accepted by either a lender, a seller, or a title company in the transaction. It must be executed with the same formalities as the document for which it's being used. So a deed needs to have two witnesses and a notary. A mortgage needs to be notarized. The documents then need to be recorded prior to the rec recording of the document under which the power of attorney is being signed. And all of this must be done with communication of attorneys and title companies to get it right. Now, a new alternative to a power of attorney is the idea of a remote online notary. We've talked about those in other Tobin talks, but this is a law that Florida has passed that allows for remote online notarization of documents. It is designed to expedite closings and save the inconvenience of a power of attorney. So if you're not gonna be available for signing at closing, speak with your attorney, the title company, make sure that you have a proper power of attorney or a RON signing so that your transaction happens on time as planned and without unnecessary stress. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you'll subscribe to our Tobin Talk series and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.